So I'm going to attempt to give you a bit of a run through through calculating KC from experiments. Um, I'm using a question from a practice paper from OCR um, just to demonstrate this, but um, hopefully the method here will work for any question. Just the general principles of what we're doing stay the same. Now, um, I have to say I always lose marks on these questions because I uh, plug in a number wrong into my calculator or I copy it over um, incorrectly. Uh, just things like that. Attention to detail in this kind of mathematical question is really, really important. So I'd encourage you always in an exam situation to type in everything into your calculator at least twice and see if you come out with the same answer both times and then check very carefully that you've actually written it down correctly. So. Without further ado, here's the equation. Um, it's the Harbour process because I was feeling uninventive. Um, and uh, we have the equation there, which we should know from GCC. We've got the state symbols and we know that it's an exothermic reaction. And we've got the enthalpy change up the top there, which is negative. Um, and uh, we're told that a chemist will uh, mix 0.8 moles of nitrogen gas and um, 2.4 moles of hydrogen gas and um, leave the mixture to reach equilibrium. Um, they're doing this at 300 degrees C. Uh, the total volume of the equilibrium is five decimeters cubed. And um, we're told that at equilibrium, they've measured how much ammonia is formed and it's uh, 0.36 moles of ammonia. And we're asked to calculate the Kc for this. So you should already know that the Kc is an equilibrium constant uh, related to concentration. And so um, we are going to need to think concentration here. Concentration is moles divided by volume or N over V. And so we're going to start by working out the number of moles of everything at equilibrium and initially. So I've, I've put a little table together here. And I really would recommend putting your answer in some kind of table form. Now, it doesn't have to be as neat as this in an exam. You're in a hurry, um, you know, um, and you don't get extra marks for it. But if you have it ordered and you have um, clear headings of what you're trying to calculate and you can put your working in the table as well, um, make it a bit bigger um, so that it's clear what you're doing, then that will help the examiner work out whether they uh, you know where you've made a mistake and if it's clear where you've made a mistake they can, it's easier for them to give you error carried forward um, and um, it's also um, just easier for them to mark um, and find um, the answers that you've um, done to the calculations as well so I would really encourage you to put um, this into some kind of tabulated form there's usually plenty of space on the exam paper um, for this kind of working out so um, what are we going to do well first um, the most obvious thing that we can uh, we can tell from the question is that there was no ammonia to start with, so let's fill that into our table. No NH3. Uh, so we have made 0.36 moles of ammonia, which wasn't there before, and that's important. That change is going to be important in a minute. Um, what else can we say without doing any calculations? Well, eh, not really much, but um, a simple calculation is, well, if we've got the number of moles of, and we've got a volume up here, then we can take the moles divided by the volume to give us concentration of ammonia as 0.072. So that's nice and simple. That's already done. We've, we've got concentration of ammonia. Um, so the number of moles of nitrogen first at equilibrium. Well, we know that we put 0.8 in and we also know that the number of moles of nitrogen used, if we look at the equation, um, is half the number of moles of NH3 produced. So we see that there's no number in front of the N2 when we look at our balancing numbers, and there is a two in front of the NH3. Therefore, if we've made 0 0.360 um, moles of NH3, half that amount of nitrogen has been used. So, if we take 0 0.180 away from 0 0.8, um, we're taking away half of this from the initial amount of um, uh, nitrogen that there was. We will end up with the number of moles of uh, nitrogen at equilibrium, which is 0 0.62 moles of nitrogen. So we can do the same with the hydrogen. Um, this time, we've got to remember that um, we have three hydrogen molecules are going to make two NH3 
uh, molecule. So we're going to get uh, 3 over 2 um, uh, moles of um, hydrogen for every NH3 mole that we've got. So 3 over 2 um, times this. We're taking that away from the original H2, because that's the stuff that we've used, uh, 2.4 minus uh, 0 0.5 for 0. That will give us our number of moles of hydrogen. So we're working out from the number of moles of ammonia how much of the hydrogen and nitrogen we have used and subtracting that away from uh, the original uh, quantity. And that tells us how much is left. Um, one thing left to do, uh, we now have number of moles and we have our volume. So what we're going to do is divide both of those numbers by five and we will end up with um, 0.124 and 0.372 moles per decimeter cubed for nitrogen and hydrogen respectively. So there's our numbers. We now need to write our KC expression. And I've just copied this ta uh, the important information from the table over onto this slide. Um, in your exam question, you just look up the sheet. But um, uh, the equation that we've got here, I've just left at the top as well, so we can see where our KC expression is coming from. Um, if you remember, KC, we write um, an expression for KC by putting um, the products on the top and the reactants on the bottom, we're putting them in square brackets to show that it's concentration, and that's really important. You must, according to submark schemes, um, have square brackets um, on there. You can see that the NH3 we've raised to the power of two because we have two NH3 in the equation, and the N2 we haven't raised to um, any power because um, it's, well, it's to the power of one technically, I guess, uh, because we only have uh, one N2 going into the equation in the first place. Hydrogen we have raised to the power of three because there is a three. H2 um, in our equation. So if we take that and we plug in the numbers, we end up with um, this. You can put it through your calculator and work it out yourself, but it's uh, 0.812. And now the last stage is to work out what the units are. So to work out the units of KC, I have actually made a separate video on this. Um, for those of you who uh, need it, uh, click on the link in the corner. Um, we are going to just have a look at this one really quickly. Um, for every concentration, the unit is moles per decimeter cubed or moles decimeters to the minus three. Um, the NH3 was uh, squared in the KC, so we've done the same on the top. The hydrogen concentration was cubed, so uh, we've done that with the unit on the bottom as well. And when we put that together, if we um, multiply the bottom uh, two terms together and then um, uh, get rid of the um, uh, indices, um, we will end up with this moles squared decimeters to the minus six on the top and moles to the four decimeters to the minus 12 on the bottom. Uh, now we can, that cancels out to um, uh, one over moles squared decimeters to the minus six. And um, actually, when you uh, think about it, that's just as legitimately and in fact more elegantly written as decimeters six moles to the minus two. But check out the uh, link. Um, for a more detailed version of how to do that. So our answer that we should be writing is 0 0.812 decimeter 6 moles to the minus 2. So in terms of how we approach this question, we're always doing the same thing. We're going to calculate the number of moles of each chemical initially from the data that we have. We're going to calculate the concentration at equilibrium from the data we have, from the equation, from working out how much has been used. Um, and therefore how much has got we've got left. Um, we're going to then write an expression for Kc. We're going to calculate the Kc by plugging in the numbers, and then we're going to work out the units of Kc. And if we do that, that's a nice uh, six marks. Uh, if you are really well drilled in this, then you should be able to pick them up each time. Practice is the key.